said I didn't pick him because he was my brother. I knew, always knew he had the ability and the mindset. And for me, the bonus was and is that I have a coach that understands how to coach the game out on the pitch. Like, and, and you see that with his level of play because he understands the game from an on-field general perspective. Um, but also, he knows what I want. So how that translates into as simple as the culture um, to the, the style of play to how, how we would approach and he can probably be the buffer zone for a lot of players like he's, you know, Tommy was a bit harsh on me there, he can be a buffer zone on it or he can be honest with them um, but I think for him the biggest thing what I wanted him to do was actually he had to manage his other part of his life because being a full-time coach as well he had to be fit and he had to be physically fit to be uh, a professional footballer and I think by doing that it was a no-brainer then, uh, probably from my side to you, yeah. uh, I, was, I was impressed. Um, for, for me, and it might, might sound wrong, I'm not overly surprised with, with, with the success that we have because I know the work that gets put in and I know the, you know the best in the world almost become workaholics and they're always, their mind's always functioning um, with certain things. So it's been over a, a long time. It, it, this has been in the making for a long time. and. You know, I'm, I'm not surprised that he's having success. Um, you know, when we lost the PDL final, that was a, that was a massive blow for us because we'd worked so hard to get there, but we knew that we would get there again. And, um, you know, the, the start to the season hasn't surprised me. I said it in an interview early in the season, what our objectives are. We're not afraid to, to say that we're going to we want to win. Um, if we don't, we, we'll analyse and assess why we didn't. But I'm not surprised that, you know, He's leading success right now, and he's we're top of the league and, and won the first ever, I say, mini season in in, in, in Canadian Premier League. Um, so nothing nothing surprises me in that sense. And then, how would you say you guys are different and similar? I think he's more of a extrovert. I'm more of an introvert. Is that what you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think so. In a lot of ways, you'll see him, and even now, people will see him on on Twitter and things like that. And he's out there in pictures of this, that, and the other. Yeah. Um, but then, if you ever go and visit him, he, he lives in his uh, barn in the, in the countryside, and it's just him and his missus and they. Couple of mates. Uh, just that's his it. Own, yeah, yeah, yeah. His little circle, yeah. And so I think you've got a bit, a yeah. bit of both in that way, and same same sort of humour. I would say, and yeah, then, yeah. Uh, I think, yeah, I think he's uh, he, he, he's definitely changed in, in how you coach over the last couple mm -hmm. of years, isn't he? You, you're more a, an analyzer and a thinker. You won't be as quick to react. I'm still at that stage um, of my coaching, but yeah, I'd say extroverted and introverted, and, and that would be the major difference between us. What about dress sense? I think. Yeah, but yeah, he, he dresses well. He's, he's done. He started the season well. Uh, whether you can keep it going is the big thing. Um, it's a long old season. Uh, you know, I've got to wear. You don't have to. When you come to the games now, you're I starting think, to. I don't think I'd be in the top five. Of, of, the, of I our think, team I think Brownies, or the league. I think Brownie's white suit that he wears would be in the, in the top but, five yeah. as well. I don't know, yeah. but he's one that can get away with it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if yeah. you could. It'd be like yeah. Liverpool.